Hello and welcome to our morning worship from Hersham Baptist Church. My name is Phil, I'm the pastor of the church here. It's great to have you with us. If this is your first time, then please hit like and subscribe and you can stay in contact with us. We're here to provide good Christian resources to help us all to be courageous in mission, Bible saturated, spirit dependent and loving of others. We hope that you'll stay with us for the rest of our morning service. We have some songs and sung worship coming up on the playlist. And then after that, I'll be leading us in some prayers. And then we'll be thinking about the Bible together to see how we can live and grow as followers of Jesus. And then after that, there'll be time for sung worship and songs of response. So please do stay with us for the rest of this. If you need to, you can skip ahead to the sermon uh, by clicking on the video link at the end of this video. For now, though, let's pray. And then I'm going to read some verses from the psalm to get us started for our worship. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for the chance to gather together as your people, even though we're scattered across the world and across our villages and towns at the moment. We want to pray, Lord, that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit, that wherever we are, however we come, Lord, whatever our week has been like, Lord, whether it's been filled with faith or with doubt, with happiness or with despair, Lord, whether we come frustrated and wondering how we're going to cope with the next week or full of life and vigour and ready to get going, we want to pray wherever we come that you would meet with us. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you would change our hearts and Lord, that you would lead us into your kingdom and into your joy. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, we always like to begin our worship by reading some verses from a psalm. And I'm going to read these verses from Psalm 118 that Jesus applied to himself. These are verses that speak about what Jesus has done and the victory that he's won at Easter. This is Psalm 118 and verse 22. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvellous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice and be glad. You might be living in a time where you feel rejected or sad. You might feel like you wonder where Jesus has gone and God's word to you this morning is he's not gone anywhere. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone the foundation of every building. The Lord has done it. Let's rejoice. 